Good morning. Delegate Kilgore. Elected board members. School board. Administrators. Family, friends, and students. Thank you. <laughs> Southwest Virginia Technology Council. I am so blessed to be here. Thank you for this honor. And as Esther told you, I am currently in Scott County. In Scott County, we plan to take this beyond my classroom doors to our eighth grade students and speak to the population of eighth graders. What we want to do is help them make the vital connection between math and science and employability skills whether it's in clean coal technology, renewable energy, or many other technology opportunities throughout our region. As Mr. Stallard just told you, he had a dream, he had a goal. How many of you have seen the Bucket List movie? Have you seen it? It's an awesome movie, yes it is. Guess what? I have my own list of things I'd like to do, do you? All right, maybe you do. Guess what? This was on my list. And now, thanks to the Southwest Virginia Technology Council, I can cross this off my list. So thank you for making this possible. And now our last speaker actually needs no introduction. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A couple things this morning that I would like to do is, first of all, we have a wonderful opportunity for one of our staff members and one of the school family, so we're very appreciative of him having the courage to come forth and to do this. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the number of people that was responsible for doing this and supplying the financial resources and for having the vision and the leadership to uh, begin this process and then follow it through. Any initiative that you do takes a great deal of work, effort, and leadership. And so what I'd like for you to do is join with me at this time. And for all of those individuals that made this possible, let's give them a big round of applause. Please. The last thing that I would like to leave with you this morning is to first of all thank you for your attention and patience this morning. I know for middle school children that this is a long time to sometimes be sitting on a hard floor so I do appreciate that. The other thing that I'd like to tell you however is that we need you. We need you to begin to have the same kind of dreams, the same kind of vision, the same kind of courage, the same kind of leadership that has been demonstrated by these individuals on this stage today to make this happen. We need you to begin to prepare the future for us and for your own generation and for the next generation that will follow you. And the thing that impressed me the most as I sat here today, as I looked out among this particular audience, I saw a number of you that I know that the future of this country, the future that we have together, is in good hands. So ladies and gentlemen, work hard throughout the rest of the school year. Enjoy the school year. But at the same point in time, always look for what you can do for others. Always make and take the opportunity to help your fellow students and to help your teachers and to make this school and this nation the best that it can be. We hope you have a wonderful school year. We wish you the best, Mr. Stallard. Wish you the best in all of this. Good luck and have a great year. Thank you.
Okay, once again, let's give uh, Ms. Kilgore, Mr. Stallard, and all our honored guests a great hand, and thanks for coming. At this time, eighth grade is dismissed, eighth grade. Everyone else, please remain seated. Fifth, sixth, and seventh, please remain seated. Seventh grade. Seventh grade is dismissed, fifth and sixth.